I just love watching this, just watching Isaac just stare at you through the screen and like looking down like, yeah, that's the menu. What are you what are you gonna do? Um I'm waiting. You know, I'm actually getting a little thirsty. Uh can we maybe move this along, get to an inn or something? <laughs> Anyway, hello guys and welcome back to Golden Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu and Sorry, I just had a little bit of a pain in my jaw. <laughs> um anyway, we are on Crossbone Isle, taking care of some badass motherfuckers. Um This is the optional dungeon of the game. I've been saying that this entire time, but in case you're just joining us, this is the optional dungeon of the game, and it's not the last thing we do before we can take on the boss. I mean, you can do it before you go to the final dungeon, but I decided to go through the final dungeon because it's not that long, <laughs> and this part is actually quite longer. Um, and yeah, we got to take on a bunch of mini-bosses before we actually get all the way down and we'll find out what the real boss is. Each, each level gives us a new boss and a new puzzle to overcome, and it's, I, it's actually probably my favorite part of this game. Except maybe Lunpa. Lunpa's really good. I really do like Lunpa, because you get to use the Cloak Ball, and it's like Metal Gear Golden Sun. <laughs> MGGS. <laughs> Metal Gear Golden Sun, Guns of the Patriots, Fathers of... I almost said Tamriel. Where is Tamriel? I don't remember. I think I should know where Tamriel is. Isn't it a game? No. <laughs> isn't it from isn't it from a game? No, from uh Gondwin. <laughs> or whatever it's called. Man, you guys are tough. I thought I'd have you guys down by before this like little bridge thing in the boss battle music. Well not like the important boss battle music, the mini boss battle music still, but you know, still think I thought I'd have you guys down by now. Jeez. Can I not take you out just with Synergy? Please tell me I can. There we go, there's one. There we go. Oh, come on, not even a not even breaking a thousand experience points for that. What is that crap? What is that crap? Anyway. Oh yeah, we get to do this puzzle. Which, um. Well, it's not really a puzzle yet, because I mean. No, I didn't want to use carry. <laughs> but I am going to set move to left, because I think we used that a few times as well. Um, but... Alright, so, last time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio X Fu, I said that I was going to talk about... Um... A certain game <laughs> that I like to call Golden Sun 2... Golden Sun, uh, The Lost Age. A uh, certain game that I kind of have a very fond... Uh, I, I have a fondness for hating. Oh yeah, I forgot we had to... That we could just push it that one more inch because there's no barrier up here. For some reason, because it's going into a nook, it looks like, oh, hey, it's kind of stops. Because they don't show that last inch has the dotted lines around it. And, like, I don't think I ever showed this, but you can't push something outside of the dotted lines, which, I mean, you learn learn early on, and then once you replay the game, you just never go outside the dotted lines, because you know you can't. So that's why, that's the reason why I've not shown it off. It's just, I'm like, oh, can't go outside the dotted lines. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that's right, we gotta get up there somehow. How are we gonna do that? I'll show you. Maybe. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. Well, I'll show you. This this Venus Jin's like, oh my god, ha! You can't just you can't jump down a simple wall like me. What a loser! Ha! <laughs> and we're 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 devastated by that because I mean, it's the last Jin we gotta get, and he's calling us a loser. I mean, ah. anyway, Golden Sun: The Lost Age. Let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, where do I begin? <sighs> I was a kid when this game came out, and I think it was 2003. Don't quote me on that. 
because I'm probably wrong. I think it was 2003. Again, probably, probably wrong. Oh geez, what'd he do now? That crazy Venus gen. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. Oh yes, this is actually, it introduces a thing we don't see anywhere else in the game, which I think is cool. Um, besides the sliding down in the statues, you can actually just take a ladder down to them. It's, and they only bring it up now. Which, it's like, really? That would have been so much cooler earlier on. We could have had so many more puzzles, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, we've had so many cool puzzles already. Who am I to complain? Uh, when I was a kid, again, 2003, not really a kid, a teenager. I think I'm really, really certain it came out in 2003. Um, I love Golden Sun. I played through this so much that... I just... Oh, get back here, you dirty rat. Oh, maybe... Wait, wait. Can we trick them like we did the guys in Vault? Oh, crap. Can we split up, guys? Huh? You know, take care of things that way? No, you're gonna make me use Halt? You're gonna make me use Halt? Fine. This guy attacks us. This guy attacks us. I know this guy attacks us. He doesn't attack us. I know, I always, th I always think that he attacks us because he should attack us. He never attacks us. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's just get through this. Golden Sun, The Lost Age. I was looking forward to so much. Because this was the first time I had heard of a new game plus. Ever. Like. Because at the end of... Well, no. I had heard of it in Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. But that didn't really... I was like, eh, okay, it's the same character but it's still Link. It's not somebody that I really had a connection with or anything like that. Oh crap, gotta do this the other way. Because we gotta be on this side so we can go back up to the level above. Um, I mean, yeah, I knew that. I, that I could do that with Legend, the Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons games. Difference was I also didn't have them. <laughs> but... Ooh, is this? Oh, it's a water of life. I thought it was something else. <laughs> so disappointed. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll get it anyway. I know what we're, we're looking. I know what I'm looking for. It's coming up. It's gonna be great. Like how I thought Lost Stage was gonna be. Spoiler. That's what I thought of Lost Age. I thought it was gonna be great. Then I was proved wrong. <laughs> But I, I had I, I dreamt about this game. Like I can I can honestly say this is a game I dreamt about, which Oh yes, uh Bane. <laughs> we get to we get to play Batman. <laughs> no, the Bane is actually um the last gin in the game we get. Well it's not in the last. We can get him other we can get him before uh, I think it's the last Jupiter gin we get. Um but he allows you to do deadly poison against an enemy or something like that. I don't know. Let's check him out. Actually, let's check out everybody's last gym. Because I don't think we have. Sorry about that. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little stuffed up. I think I'm getting a bit of a cold. So I probably sound a little different. I'm trying my hardest... ...to sound normal. We've seen Torch. But we might as well use it. It's actually pretty powerful. We'll use Luff, and do we can't use because we don't have a downed ally. Way to be, Mia. Way to be. But we didn't use... I don't think we used Hail yet. So let's do that. Anyway. In preparation for Lost Age coming out, I played through Golden Sun. And I played through Golden Sun. And I played through Golden Sun some more. And each time, I just fell more and more in love with this game because I think I played this more than I think this was th this was the top uh, around the time that I was starting to fall out of love with po the Pokemon games and I needed something to fill that RPG vo void <laughs> RPG ish void I guess um yes I know it's an RPG but it's these are two very different RPGs um <laughs> I could get in 
a serious argument about call <laughs> calling Pokemon RPG-ish. <laughs> I could also get in a serious argument about calling Pokemon an RPG straight. <laughs> With many people. I played the crap out of this game. I think I already told you guys there was a point when I just ground up to like level 60 in the final area of the game. Because this was, this was one of my, I, I think this might have been, if not my first, one of my first introductions to party-based RPG. And that's why I like it, like it so much. It probably wasn't. But the way they went about it was so... It was like, ha it, it's half RPG, half, half adventure game. Which I thought was fantastic. I still think it's fantastic. I think it's one of the coolest things anybody's ever done with a game. And when I heard that I could just carry over my characters and have them in Lost Age, I was like, oh my god, I'm flabbergasted. You can do that in anything. Or that you can do that in anything. Sorry, I left out a, I left out a relative pronoun right there. I left out the start of a, a, noun, a noun clause, because, you know, I'm rushing up on my grammar because I'm in that class. So I'm just trying to use things outside of class so that they apply and they're not just random kind of useless learning. Um, and then Lost Sage came out. But I didn't get it because there were other things I needed to get. And it, was, it had taken so long for it to come out from when I had finished this game that I, I just wasn't at the time it wasn't the t it wasn't the time for me to get the game oh yes by the way this is the level where you would be stuck if you did if you did not go to Venus lighthouse first because as you can see it requires carry in fact I believe all the puzzles in this level require carry um actually one of the hard ones too if I remember correctly uh, okay I think I see what we're supposed to do here ah, no, no. there we go okay oh shoot we might have to keep going in and out for this one as well bugger I hate when I have to do that no, 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 open the treasure chest. Open the treasure chest! Open the treasure chest! Oh, come on! I don't want lucky metals anymore. I'm useless. <laughs> um, then Lost Age came out. And now don't get me wrong. I like Lost Age. Lost Age is a fine game. Lost Age is not, by any stretch of the imagine, imagine, by any stretch of the imagine, <laughs> Lost Age is not, by any stretch of the imagination, what I was looking for in a Golden Sun game. Uh, I wanted to be able... Shoot, we can't get that. We, we do have to enter and re-enter, or leave and re-enter. Oh, I forgot about that. I hate that. Oh, okay, I don't hate that. It's just, that's annoying. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this with every puzzle if we want to get all the all the chests, and I'm damned if I'm not getting all the chests. Cause they only give us one carry block, the bastards. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. We might be able to swing it so that we uh. Because I'm trying to remember how we get to the get to this chest at all. So we can't get on this level, so we can't just jump across here using the carry block. I think it has something to do with, um, we have to get it at the bottom of this ladder. But I'm a little hard-pressed to remember how we do that. Because we can only move this one space at a time. Hmm... Oh, shoot. If we had put it up anyway, we'd be screwed, because we need to have a space to land on next to the... Oh. High five! We need a little space to land on next to the chest. There we go. 
but it wasn't what I was expecting. Yes, you got to input your name and start a... You got to carry your characters over, but you didn't get to use any of your characters until the end of the game. They didn't... They just... Like, they showed up. But you played Felix's party, and while that's cool, I, I felt betrayed. I felt betrayed because I had thought that it was just going to be a continuation of Isaac's story. Because at this point, I was like, Isaac, Mia, Ivan, Garrett are the best people in the art. It, like, they're the best people ever. But no, I like, you had to... It, it still felt like starting all over. And that, that, that crushed it for me. And then, and then, that wasn't it. That was not it. Not only... Not only was it that you just started out with other people. They just didn't seem as interesting. Yes, Felix is the tragic, dark hero. Yes, I guess I... I Sh Sheba, or Sheba, Sheba, however you want to pronounce the name. Sheba's pretty cool. I guess. But it wasn't the, it wasn't the same. It wasn't It wasn't these three people that I had grown I had grown to love in a way. Oh wait, we got to put that down. And I was going through it. I, I was getting used to it. Like, I'm like, okay, it's not the same game. That's okay. I'm not going to bellyache too much about that. Oh, and you get Jenna, which... Jenna's still cool, because she, she was from the beginning. I think you get Jenna, don't you? Yeah, because she's the fire... She's the, uh... I almost said fire mage. She's the, uh, Mars... Uh, the Mar Mars adept for that party. And I believe you get Alex at some point. Uh, for the Mercury Adept, don't you? Or is it someone else? I don't remember. It's been that long since I played this that game and actually cared. Because there was one point that I just... I, I could not keep playing that game. Do you remember how we sailed again, uh, uh, across the Caragol Sea? And I'm like, I love this part. This part is fantastic. Because not only do you get to choose, like, the crew members that have to be replaced, you can be as mean or petty as you want. You get to just fight a gauntlet of monsters on the way across. And it's just fun. Do you remember that? Well, you got something similar in, Le in Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Except, it's not a gauntlet. Well, it is a gauntlet, in a way. It's not... Ooh, Poison Toad and Thunder Lizards! It's not anything. Here we go, now we can use Bane. It's not anything like crossing the Caragol Sea. No. Nothing like it. In fact, I would go so far as to say that it kind of... is probably the reason I never bought, bought Dark Dawn, because I was just... I, I just kind of fell out of love with the people who were making Golden Sun at that point, because they introduced a boating element to it. Well, a ship element to it. Where you got to cross the seas however you wanted, go wherever you want. Which is fine. Until they make you traverse the ocean a good half dozen times for story things and a good half dozen other times for for the extra things then it becomes tedium um that becomes game artificial game line thing it becomes not fun and that's the real reason that i have a problem with lost age i ended up not playing it on Game Boy Advance when I finally got it because I I wasn't playing Golden Sun at the time when it came out because it, it did take a while for it to come out and I wasn't I think it was one of the you no know, it wasn't one of the last games on the Game Boy Advance that would, that, that would be crazy 
but it did take a long while to get out. At least that's what I remember. I don't even know when it was re released, actually, because I never got it when it came out. Um, instead, I actually, I actually ended up. It was one of the first games I played using emulators, and after the very first time that I crossed that ocean. I never crossed that ocean regular speed again, because it was never fun. Even speeding it up using the emulator was not fun. I almost ended up not even finishing. Like, I don't actually, I don't even think I did finish the game because of that. And just with the love that I have for this game, that, that feels very wrong to me. And, I don't know, Lost Age just never could live up to um, this first game to me. Like, yeah, they added a lot of cool things. You have you have different summons. Like, they, they changed around the whole idea of summons. So you could have, like, summons that use two Fire Gin and two... Or two Mars Gin and two Mercury Gin or something like that. I don't remember. That was cool. You had a new party. Okay, I will admit, that was pretty cool that you had a new party that you... Like, new people you could fall in love with. I did, I did enjoy that you had new people you could fall in love with. <sighs> to a certain extent. The new location, the new locations we were, that you went to were really cool too. Like there were jungle levels and such, such like that. Like I remember there was a jungle tribe that you had to save a guy from being sacrificed almost Indiana Jones style. That was really cool, and I wish that it had been cool enough to overcome just the BS of sailing back and forth over and over and over again. I wish that you hadn't had to sail that much. Like, I wish... Because here's the thing. It was not just that you had to sail. If it was just sailing almost, um, what you, if it was sailing a la Wind Waker, that would be fine. I would love that. I love the sailing in Wind Waker because you just get to relax, take in the sights every once in a while. Yeah, you get to fight a guy, but you know what? It was fun. It was, it was really fun. Golden Sun. Lost Age. You know what you did? You had to fight random battles all the time. And it felt like they upped the random battle encounter for the for the ocean as well, which just made it even worse. And again, if it wasn't if it wasn't for that, it, I probably would have had no problem with it. I probably would have loved the game. Because then it's just adventuring on the high seas, and I love pirates. Pirates are awesome. <laughs> no, I love pirates in games. Pirates in games are, are awesome. Just random battling, because you have to get from point A to point B. And they're tough random battles, and they're random battles you can't run from. And they're... It just ends up being very tedious random battles that you don't want to go into, but you can't help it. And point A and B are very far apart, and it's not like you're backtracking or anything. You're actually going to a new place. No. <laughs> no. 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 No, oh, shoot. We gotta go back for this. Because we can't get back here. But we need that chest, because I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. By the way, this will probably be an, a long episode, because I kind of want to get this game done. Just letting you guys know. But you probably already saw that, because it shows you the time on YouTube, so... <sighs> but then it's not like anybody watches these videos anyway. <laughs>
I say that so many times with Golden Sun. If you actually do watch these videos, I'm sorry. And thank you. Because <laughs> I just say nobody watches these videos a lot with Golden Sun. Because I'm just trying to finish this game off. I will be dead serious. I'm just trying to finish this game off because I want to get to a new LP. And it's going to be sweet. <laughs> oh yes, that's right. Um, that's the other reason why they put the dragon statue here so you can actually get back around. They thought ahead. They thought ahead. Just use, you know, use a set piece that we've seen before in the game because it's like the last dungeon. At, and it works because it's a test. That, that's just good. That's just good planning. Well, it's not even planning. They're probably like, oh man, we need to make sure that... Or, they probably built it around it. Like, oh, maybe we can make it so that they need to remelt the ice or something. That's cool. That's cool. We haven't had to remelt ice like this entire time. Except for that one dungeon with the, the torches and stuff. Alright. You ready? Cleric's Ring removes a curse's effects. Giving it to Garrett, trading it for the healing ring, equipping it, hell yeah. Ready, ready, ready? Thunder Crown. Equip. He's cursed. Don't care. Don't give a damn. We're gonna ditch this silver helm. We're gonna... Oh, which one's better, the Demon Axe or the Wicked Mace? One second. I think it's the Demon Axe. 132... Or 130. Okay. Poison Death can actually kill in one kill in one hit sometimes, but we're gonna give him the Poison Cloud because look it, 358 attack versus what is what is what is Isaac have? 366. They are phenomenal attackers now. Oh my God, they can just hit for so much. And that's what we were waiting for. Look at Garrett. Look at no. Look at Garrett. Look at. 358 attack, 240 defense. That's amazing. And look, his agility's not half bad either. <laughs> I always do this. Every time I play this game, I always equip Garrett the same way. Just because, I mean, Garrett should get the cursed items, because, I mean, who else? Like, we should give one person all the cursed items. That's just always the way I've, way, way I've played. Just because it makes no sense to give... Because basically what a cursed item does is you cannot unequip it, and I think you lose every other turn. So it makes sense to give it, like, the- it makes sense to give the Cleric's Ring to one person and just run with it. Now watch. I'm gonna attack with Garrett. He's gonna do amazing things. He's gonna just, like, kill everything in one hit. Actually, I'm gonna use high impact as well. Because why the hell not? They're just Cerberuses. Not a big deal. Right, let's see what you can do, Garrett. Well, after we cast Mother Guy. You know, just open up the Earth's core. They won't be dead. Yep, Mia, you can go too. There we go. 137 damage. One hit. And he didn't even critical. Oh shoot, Mia, don't don't uh take too much damage, please. Yeah, just take out, you know, the rest of them, Garrett. You're 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 going far, kid. You know what you're doing. I don't think... See, I'm still... I still don't really know how... Synergy damage works in this game. Like, I, I don't... I, th I don't think it's affected by what weapon you equip. Like, I don't think it goes up with power. But it might. Like, it might offset the defenses and the uh, resistances of... Of enemies if you use a better weapon. Like, I don't... I honestly don't know. I've never actually looked it up, so... I don't know what sort of equation they're using, because it's not... Because you've got the different powers with the Jin for different elements, and it just... It seems different enough that they might not use the same system as other party-based RPGs, but I might be wrong. I should look it up sometime, you know. Like, maybe after this episode's over. <laughs> Aw, oh, man, I love that everybody's recovering HP and PP and everything as well. It's just, it just feels good to have everybody just recovering things now, because we couldn't have that through the rest of the game. 
like, nobody recovered anything. I think maybe one or two people did, but for the most part, no. It just feels good to have people able to take care of themselves. And as soon as I say that, Isaac's taking a lot of damage, Garrett's taking a lot of damage, you know, just attack Garrett. Use, use Eruption. Um, yeah, use Shine Plasma. And Mia, you, you take care of... You, you take care of them. There we go. No, nothing doing. Alright. Hopefully, uh, these guys aren't harder than I actually remembered them to be. <laughs> Maybe they will be. Uh, Garrett, you took a lot of damage there, actually. Um, we're kind of low on PP. Yeah, let's uh, let's just keep going. Uh, yeah, let's let, yeah. This will this will work. Don't worry. We got this. I will be really ashamed if we die on Cerberus's Cerberus Eye. These guys aren't even hard compared to what, where we're going. Please don't die. <laughs> yeah, we're out of the red zone anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, go ahead and just start attacking, guys. Why not? I still love that animation. Look, it did so much damage. 250 damage, pretty much. Oh, there we go. Come on, do it, do it. Yeah! Oh, I didn't actually kill him. Damn it, Garrett. Damn it, Garrett. I was I was expecting you to have, like, a really cool end to this fight. But no, you're gonna have Ivan do it, probably. Okay, no, you're gonna have Isaac Skyway do it, as if it hadn't had the spotlight already for the entire last five episodes. But we leveled up, so... Maybe it'll be a bit easier. Alright. Ooh, we've got one of these puzzles. That's pretty cool. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Ready, guys? That's not gonna work. Hmm. Also, I just like how there's no enemies in here, I don't think. Except for the except for the uh, mini bosses. There's just no enemies. <laughs> I don't know, I, think, I, I just think it's really cool. Alright, that's not how we get to that chest. This is how we get to that chest. Easy as just going over here and yeah. Right like that. Here we go. <laughs> Damn it. I also just like that they're throwing you easy... Er... Items that you can just easily drop because well, they were easy to get. <laughs> Alright, let's see, uh... Um, hmm. Okay, now I'm a bit confused. <laughs> this is actually a good puzzle. Because I need... I know I need to get that thing. The, um this guy. I know I need to get him. But I'm trying to remember how to do that. I think... Yep, that's right. Okay, yeah. I got it. I got it. There we go. Okay. And now if we, um... Oh, okay. Now I, I, I know what we're doing. <laughs> no, wait. Damn it. I thought I had an idea. Okay, this is how we end the level. So let's just get this treasure now. Oh no, we're only halfway through. That's right, we've got another puzzle. <laughs> okay. How do we get to you again? If we can get... I want to say if we can get this guy halfway over, but... I don't see any way of doing that. Let's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Inspiration! Can we just... We could do that the entire time. <laughs> oh, man. 999 coins. There we go. This is the last level. 
of the game. No, not, not of the game. This is the last level of the dungeon, so we're close. We're close. Alright. Now that I remember, this is... Really freaking hard. Okay. Because... Um... Oh, yeah, because basically what we have to do is get this guy, this um, wood plank right here, just to the left of this top guy, so we can just roll him over and he won't go anywhere. And I think we basically do that by just going like this. No, that's not how we do it at all. Shoot. Um. Hmm. I like how they bob when you actually stand on them. That's cool. Huh. Oh, no, that's right. Okay. I see what we're supposed to do. Maybe. Like this? Maybe? Maybe? One sec, I want to get that guy up there so we can roll him back if need be. Oh, wait a minute. Is it... Am I just wasting time? <laughs> I might just be wasting time. Shoot, I'm trying to remember how to do this, because I remember this being complicated. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might have something here. Or not. Hmm. trying to remember how to do this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember. Okay, now I remember. Aha, this is actually much easier than I remember it to be. I don't think we even need to use those two down there. We just need to bring this guy over here. Bring this guy down. I had it a minute ago. Oh no, wait a minute. I'm dumb. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, bring him down here. Bring him around. Bring him over here. We didn't need him up there, but we're gonna bring him around anyway. Bring you back here. We'll... Oh, no, we don't want to use that log. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to go around anyway if we do. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. There we go. That's it. There we are. Because I knew we had to make a zigzag pattern of some sort. I couldn't remember how to do it though. And we got the Muramasa. Oh shoot, is that actually better than the... Oh no, it's, it's exactly the same. That's right. Maybe? Wait a minute. 126. 132. Okay, it's less. It's less powerful. That's good. I think Demon Fire is actually better, though, than the Poison Cloud, so... Especially for Garrick, because he has the Mars affinity. Anyway. Well, we're at the bottom. And... Ugh. I wouldn't want to live here with... Ugh. Icky water like that. We've got one screen left. I wonder where we're going. We'll find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio Fu. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> oh my god, the anticipation is almost too great.